Of the more than 539 parliament members present, 346 MPs supported the state of emergency declaration, while 88 members of parliament disagreed. Supported by two-third majority, the parliament has endorsed the six-month state of emergency. <laughs> Ahead of the voting, however, the MPs debated on the draft decree. Some explained the paramount importance of endorsing the state of emergency in the country. This decree will protect the people's right to work and move around peacefully. It will protect the constitutional rights of our citizens besides safeguarding the constitutional order. Therefore, I believe this decree should be ratified. We do not have any reason to dismiss the declaration of a state of emergency. This is happening because the situation in the country requires mandatory decisions of such sort, so we should accept the situation as it is. On the other hand, other MPs argued the decree is too powerful and even is not necessary at this time. I believe the decree has given the command post excessive power. It's excessive power. I say this because beyond peace and security, the decree has mandated the command post to get involved in other things such as administrative works. Before implementing the decree, people should have accepted it. This makes the whole plan successful. Without properly informing the people, and at a time when they are in fear of facing atrocities again, how is it going to be implemented? Many political analysts tell you these are critical times for Ethiopia and its people. And they suggest the leaders of the country must make decisions aiming at safeguarding the future of the nation and its aspirations too. One of the most important and highly anticipated moves next is the assignment of a new prime minister. And the whole country is looking anxiously forward to the naming of its incoming leader. Groomed at CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.